You see Dwight's coffee mug? Mm -hmm. Sometimes when he's not here, I try to throw stuff in it. No way. Let's do this. Oh. Here, mm. write paper clips. Oh, wait. This message for Dwight. Oh. Oh, most honorable Pamara. Not offensive, because that's the way they talk in movies. You headed out? Uh, we are. Dwight and I are going to the big thing. So, why don't you have everybody work on their expense reports, and I'd like them in by the end of the day. Okay. Very good. Have a great time. We will. Um, did you do the thing I used to do about the magazines? Yeah, I changed them to your new address. Good. The small businessman? Yep. Maxim, American Way, Cracked. Yes, I changed your Cracked magazine subscription. How about uh, fine arts? Aficionado, monthly? No? Okay. Well, could you get on that? Because I don't just read Cracked. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. See you soon. Hey, Oscar, on these new expense reports, do we really have to go back to last quarter? Yeah. It's a terrible system, I know. What does 2005 season mean? <laughs> Wait a minute, what is this? It's a scoreboard. What? Kevin and I play this paper football game when Michael's out. Really? Yeah. Or when we're bored. Oh my god! Wait, this goes back two years. We're bored a lot. Oh! oh. Sweet. Yes! <laughs> so close. I really love the uh, paper triangle flicking and hitting things game. Yeah. We call it hate ball. Why? Because of how much Angela hates it. Hey, do you guys have any other games? Sometimes we play who can put the most M&Ms in their mouth. You play that. You should ask Toby to teach you Dunderball. So that's what the sound is all day. <laughs> Stanley, just played Dunderball with Toby. What about you, you got any games? Yeah, I got a game, it's called Work Hard so my kids can go to college. Fair enough. This scented candle, and oh, and oh, which I found in the men's bathroom, room, room, represents the eternal burning of competition or something. It smells like cookies. Yes, it does. Yes, it does, my friend. Okay, we will be competing for gold, silver, and bronze yogurt lids. Now, the bronze are really blue, and they're also the backside of the gold, so no flipping. Okay, honor system. I do play games. I sing, and I dangle things in front of my cats. I play lots of games, just not at work. You have what is the national sport of Icelandic paper companies. And I'm blanking on the name. Could you help me out, Pam? Jim, they refer to it as Lunkerton. Hmm. In English, box of paper snowshoe racing. Fair enough, but mm. I like Flonkerton. The thing about Jim is when he's excited about something, like the Office Olympics, he gets really into it and he does a really great job. But the problem with Jim is that he works here, so that hardly ever happens. So, who will be challenging Kevin in Flonkerton? Anyone? I'll do it. Yes, Phyllis. Phyllis. <laughs> Phyllis, if you just put your foot right through here, right through the flunk. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Dig deep. Dig deep. Oh, oh, oh. It's Phyllis. It's Phyllis. It's Phyllis by a nose. Gold medal in Flernington. Flunkerton. Thank you, delegate wow. from Iceland. Wow, okay, no one else should even try. Gold medals. Oh. Woo! Give him medals. Yes. Wow. Woo! Ah. Oh. oh! Who has somebody for Vance Refrigeration? Ryan Howard! Oh. Ryan! Gold medal. Why are you playing the National Anthem? Because your condo's in America. Oh. What the hell is
was that? Those are the doves. How many people a year do you think get their arms cut off in a baler? Baler? I hardly know her. Damn it, Michael. Pay attention, man. Anybody want to take a guess? Five bucks says Anybody. it's over 50. You really want to bet? Anybody. Ever since March Madness ended, I am so bored. How many? OK, you're on. 10 people, Michael. 10 people. Would you like to be one of them? No, you don't worry about it. Let's just go double or nothing. Because on what? I don't know. We'll figure something out. What are you guys talking about? 10. Really, 10. That's your guess. You're a professional accountant. There's like 10 green ones. 42. I'm going to say 50. 51. Oh, oh come don't on. be that. That person. is lame. It's a strategy. It's called being smart. Thank you. Oh, jeez. I don't know how the whole betting thing started, but it's fun. 10. Kev's out. Damn it. 47, 48, 49, Jim wins. Oh, that is not fair. He has spent hours up here at reception with you. Hours and hours. Okay, okay. No, constantly, like for years. Okay. Pam. This movie moves to the top of the queue. So number five becomes number four, number six becomes number five, number three becomes number two, et cetera, et cetera. And let's just say that I just sent back Love Actually, which was awesome. And they sent me Uptown Girls, which is also awesome. But guess what? Now I want to see Love Actually again, but it's at the bottom of the queue. Oh no, what do I do? What I do is this. I go online, I go click, 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 and I change the order of the queue so that I can see Love Actually as soon as I want to. It's so easy, Ryan. Do you really not know how Netflix works? I guess I forgot. You're such a dick. Ryan, well done. Two minutes, 42 seconds. Additionally, Pam, you win 10 because she said awesome 12 times, mm -hmm. and Jim, you win five because she mentioned six romantic comedies. Green is eating an apple. I found a potato. Hey, Creed. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> nice. I don't know this place as well as I thought I did. I'm getting cleaned out. What are the odds that this is in any way real? I'd say like 10,000 to one. Okay, I'd like 10 bucks on those odds. If someone gives you 10,000 to one on anything, you take it. If John Mellencamp ever wins an Oscar, I am going to be a very rich dude. What about this one? It's kind of badass, right? It just seems kind of crazy in a way I might need right now. I don't know. Oh, that's... Not yours. Stanley just drank OJ out of my mug and didn't seem to realize that it wasn't his hot coffee. So the question has to be asked, is there no limit to what he won't notice? What's a seven letter word for purse? Satchel. No, starts with an H. Handbag. Hmm, thank you. All right, everybody, take a seat. As you may have heard, our branch on the planet Jupiter is up 8,000% in sales. Yeah. Hold up, the clock is slow. It is five o'clock. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, Stanley, love you. So long, Stanley. Night, everybody.